whack pack uh, wackiness, Jeff the Drunk's been calling our uh, our mm-hmm. advertiser, um, the ribs place, Carson's Ribs. Yeah. He's been calling them like nonstop for like weeks, telling them that he's from the Howard Stern Show and he wants free ribs. <laughs> so finally, some person from Carson's Ribs called Gary. And said, hey, you know, this guy, Jeff, the drunk, keeps calling, and he says he's from the show, and, of course, you know, we'll give him free ribs if you okay it. He wants free ribs, and he's demanding free ribs. And Gary goes, listen, this is ridiculous. So this was not a bit. No, no, He no, was trying to get free stuff. He was trying to get free stuff. So Gary said, under no circumstances, do you guys feel any pressure? He's in the whack pack. So they said, no, 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 we're just sending him ribs. They told him they're going to send him ribs for some reason. So then, like, a day or two later, the ribs hadn't come. He called them up and started complaining. He said, you're giving me ribs, and, and they're not here. Right, yeah, yeah. No, That's what he does. That's what he yeah. did with me. I mean, that's, that's, his his that's what they don't understand when they're dealing with a whack packer. That's what yeah. they're going to get. Where the fuck are my ribs? They're yeah. not going to appreciate it. Then he gets belligerent. <laughs> yeah, I, I, you said you're going to give me free stuff, and i got to wait three days? Because he's in time. you will say, okay, I'll give you free stuff. Then if you, you know, then if you don't get it to him, I'll sue you or something. Yeah, no, I... I for, I'd want I'd given him six hundred dollars mm-hmm. to give out those flyers, and he wanted it three days in advance. So I said, uh, I even okayed that. Right. And who even knows if he gave out the flyers? And the next fucking day, he was pissed it wasn't there. Yeah. So the Carson's ribs people now feel weird because they want to send him the ribs just because they, you know, he browbeat him into read them. But, but yeah. I don't know. So should I say they should send him ribs, or should we just say no? We'll tell you when to send him ribs. Um. Well, look, I don't think. He should be pressuring our sponsors into getting ribs. And I don't think bad I don't think bad behavior should be rewarded. Right. Oh, here he is. Hey, Jeff. Hello. Why are you calling Carson's ribs asking for free ribs? It's it, that's not their thing. And and who are you? To Hold do it, that? Howard. I know that Jeff is calling with an apology right now, right? Of course. Of course. What's of course going on, I... really? Honestly, what's going on? Um. How many times did you badger them? I heard it was like for weeks. No, it wasn't for weeks, first of all. What gives you the thought that you can just do that? Um, I, well, I, I had a relationship with Dima. With who? Dima. Who's that? She's the owner. <laughs> but what's your relationship with her? He called her and badgered her. Right. I badgered her. No, I don't badger her. Jeff, take me through the process. She's You're sitting the there. You... She's in Greece. Jeff, take me through the process. He knows, he knows the owner of the company's in Greece. Yeah. Well, that's what she told him to get the fuck away from him. I'm yeah, going to Greece. Leave me alone. She told me that I contacted, I forget her name, but she told me Donna's in Greece. Yeah, Donna's Jeff, on a mining mission in South America. Jeff, take me through the process, okay? Because I know, like, you call Howard TV every day asking for DVDs. Well, okay, remember... Like you don't take you don't, let's take me through the Like, you don't take the hint. Like, if somebody doesn't call you back the first time, you don't give up, right? Like you just call and call and call because you have nothing to do all day. Pretty much. Yeah, and what happens? You get this obsessed thought in your mind that th- this is your mission. I got to get DVDs or I got to get Carson's ribs. Why Carson's ribs? Like, how did it first occur to you to pick them out? Like, because you, I think of you as a shark. You're swimming through the ocean, and you somehow, like a terrorist, you get a hold of a thought. Yeah. What is this relationship you have? Yeah, right, like, I, th- I think, like, why, like why not? Why didn't you focus on Odomar P. Gay watches? Like why the why Carson's ribs? How did you first come to obsess on them? You can't eat a lot. <laughs> no, um, well, when um, remember when I got hurt and when I was in the hospital and stuff. Right. And they they sent me ribs. Oh no, the first ribs I got, I won um from you guys. Okay. All right, so yeah, that started it. Ribs, yeah. So that started it. Then I, then I, then I called the number. You know, you sent me the certificate, and then I started talking with Donna. Right. And so then my mother died, and she sent me some ribs. You know. Right. And so I just liked them. That's all right. All. So Donna was nice to you. She heard you about your mother's death, and yeah. And was nice enough to send you ribs. So then, at so, some point, you you decided to pick up the phone and begin calling. What? what? So anyway, she sends me ribs. You know, from now and again, she sends them to me. Right, out of the goodness of her heart. Right, and you know, I thank her and stuff. Is that sure. Like, 
I just go around. I'm not like Eric or not. All right, but somehow it went from whenever she decided out of the goodness of her heart to send you ribs, it went to now I will call and begin asking for ribs. That was, yeah, I guess. Yeah. And uh, and then from what we heard from our sponsor is that you were relentless. You you really focused in on them. Uh, I wasn't relentless. But well, okay. Jeff, you may not see it that way. How I mean, many calls a day did you make? No, I only mm -hmm. called once a day. Once a day? For how long? <laughs> I mean, it's not like I called day, 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 day. You know, I... I called, and she said she was going to send them, and I waited almost a week. And I called her again, I said, yeah, I never got those ribs. And I only called her like maybe two or three times, that is it. Do you think you're like a stray cat who gets fed once, and then once they get fed, they just keep coming back for more and more? Is that your? Is that who you become? I guess so. I mean, I know you call our back office at least twice a day after the show, so there are certain things you zero in on, and you just call and ask for free stuff. You know what he zeroes in on, Howard? Yeah. Anybody who's nice to him. Right. He smells a mark. Right. Right. Donna was a mark. Hey, oh. Doug. Hey, you know. No, of course. I'm yeah. just getting through getting badgered by Jeff for these DVDs from Howard TV. Mm. He doesn't have Howard TV. He can't get it. So I told him I'd get him DVDs, but that was oh. the mistake. It's like sometimes ten times a day I'll see his number on my phone. And what do you do? You just ignore it at this point, right? Yeah, I mean, I'm going to get it for him eventually. When, 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 I, you Jeff, when I say once, I'm going to get it for you, I'm going to get it for you. But you don't have to call. And then if he doesn't get me, he'll go around the office. And keep well, badger. Now he's got your yeah. because you've made him a guarantee, and now you're not keeping okay. him away. He'll call the operator and say, give me anyone from Howard TV. And then he'll go through like three or four people saying, I need these DVDs. And he's like obsessed with it. And that's why, and that's why Jeff, I don't believe that you called Carson's ribs once a day for two days. Of course not. What did Donna say when you spoke to her? I didn't. I got, a, I got an email from uh, the, the person who does their advice and said, yeah. listen, we're a little freaked out. Jeff is calling here asking for ribs. <laughs> right. And, you know, we, you know, we don't know what to, you know, tell them that he shouldn't be calling the office to bother them. You would think that, if anything, Jeff, you'd call me. And then no, I he could, knows you, he, he can't go he up can't that. I'm a hard ass. He can't go up that yeah. road, yeah. But they, I guess they, I think that, they, you know, they're a little freaked out. Call them and say absolutely not to send them the ribs. Okay. Yeah, he's okay, being, absolutely. Yeah, he's being obnoxious. You have to earn those ribs. And then I could see you, like, getting in that trailer with the ribs, and there's ribs all over the place. You know, you don't clean it up. But I don't know. It's like then you shit out the ribs, and then you need more ribs to put in your fucking stomach. And it's no, he's, just a he's disgusting. Obnoxious. They're all very tasty. It's not even that he gets the ribs, he just badgers people. And th then he starts yelling at them that he didn't get the ribs yet. Believe me, I know, man. I, yeah. I've been through his wrath. Yeah. And Can I tell you a story? Go this goes back about five or six years that I never told. Do you know what I'm going to tell, Jeff, about the holiday gifts that you badgered me for? This goes back to the... Oh. Uh, you remember this? So yeah. He calls me sobbing, and I, I, I feel bad for the guy. Right. He says, I can't afford anything for my family. I don't have any money for presents. You know, I, don't, I can't get anything for my, for my family and my mother. Wait, Artie's going to give you a reason. So. <laughs> Hello, Doug. Yes, Artie. I mean, yes, uh, it's Jeff. Just Jeff. Listen, man. I can't get anything for my mother. I can't get anything for my brother since the holiday. <laughs> Do you think you can send me some free stuff? Thank you, buddy. Ten minutes later. <laughs> I didn't get the stuff! Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 it's worse. What kind of a jerk you want to hear, you? You want to hear the story? My yes? mother wants a gift! Go ahead. <laughs> so I feel bad for the guy. So I go around the office and I get all kinds of free shit. You know, lots of premiums, T-shirts, mugs, whatever. Nothing. I didn't go out and buy with my yeah, own money because why should I? So I send up. Well, what was that chef? What he has complained about it? Send me a fake pussy. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Sorry. So I you send him a fake whole... ass. But was there was free. other stuff. There was other stuff that he could have given as gifts, right. legitimate. So uh, he calls me up when he gets this. I'm telling you, like a huge box with maybe 30 things. He goes. Why'd you give me all that free shit, man? I thought you were going to go out and buy stuff for me. And I was like, are you wow. fucking oh my kidding God. me? That's another level. Are you kidding me? He that's wanted Doug to go shopping <laughs> for him. Yeah, 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 that's what he's expecting. Jeff, it was you, are out, of your, you are out of your fucking mind. Yeah, well, that's why he's a whack packer. Oh. <laughs> Jeff, it was pretty you, out are there. Are you ashamed about this at all? Very much. 
want. So that's a new level for you. Yeah, it it wasn't like thanks, Doug. I appreciate what you did. It was like you didn't do enough. You didn't right. spend your own money. Jeff, <laughs> what did an you, asshole. Jeff, what about you? what about when you sent me a card this year, Doug? I called you. You twice. did. Thanks. See, I still I like Jeff. I like him, but you know, every time well, I, I want to like him more. Him him no, no, no. He's he, he, he's with he's a knight. Of, with the picture of your kid and stuff. No, no, no. The uh, e. I mean the uh, uh, in demand one. Right, right. No, he doesn't get the family one. Good, good. No. <laughs> no, but you see, but so okay, so he did the right thing once. He called you to thank you for a card. He, he it did. Jeff, did you expect? Like, did you envision Doug going to Barney's and buying shirts? Like, yeah, out of his own pocket. <laughs> like, did you want him to call you and go, "Listen, what color uh, shirt does you like your brother wear?" Because I'm at Barney's now. I'm going to buy it for you and get it. To, like, what the fuck did you think was going to happen? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, what did you th what did you want? What was your fantasy there? Yeah, what did you think? Because you obviously had something in mind that he didn't do. What was right? What was your what was your what was your source of your thought there? Oh yeah, it's an Xbox would have been nice. Oh my god! Uh, and where was he supposed oh, nice to get that, Jeff? An Xbox. Xbox so. Yeah, I was gonna go spend three hundred bucks. You wanted Doug to go buy an Xbox? For you, not for you, but for your family. <laughs> no, and it for was him. I tell you oh, what, god. you're right. It was for him. He wanted you to yeah. buy him a gift. God. What a fucking sleaze bag. Hey, I got a 37-inch TV for Christmas. Yeah, who'd you grab that from? Um, Carson's rib. <laughs> yeah. No, no. I stole. Hi, is this Carson's TV set? This guy named sets? Chuck. Yeah. He what bought me a TV. He bought you a TV? Why? A flat screen TV. Why? The kindness of his heart. Because How many times did you call him? What's that? How many times did you call him? Um, a couple of times. Yeah. If you call enough, someone's got to respond. Yeah. Does he own a store or something? Just... Yeah, yeah, Ralph, what do you want? Crudebay.com. See? Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, Ralph. Oh, this Jeff, he is a vile waste of life. I mean... Like, the, the, the time you spend... Bob, don't you even fucking start it hey, up. Listen, loser. You're the time you spend... Of the earth. Listen, shut up for a second. The time I'll you spend... You, the time you spend badgering people, why don't you put that effort into some work or do, uh, doing something productive? Yeah, but get a marketing... And car. why is he eating Carson's ribs? He, why is <laughs> he just eating dog food? If that. Carson's ribs are delicious. Yeah, they we know you that. You don't deserve them. Thank you. Fuck I you. just figured this you all out. You fucking loser. You ingrate. Is there any time anybody does anything for you where you say thank you, oh, Artie does stuff for you, you bitch about him, Doug buys you gifts or gets you gifts you bitch about, you bitch about everything, man. It really is a new level, Jeff. You like, I, I, yeah, yeah, he, I agree with Ralph to where it's a new level for you. I never, like, you, basically you just admitted that you wanted Doug to buy you something that you were going to keep. You weren't giving that as a gift to anybody. What the fuck would anybody buy you anything? Just like he kept the TV. These aren't gifts yeah. for other people. No, I mean, come on, man. Well, Jeff, you're but not... But I just figured out what Jeff's... Mo uh, his thought... Mine... Uh... His thought process is that he's going to be a spokesperson for these things. Oh, okay. Just well, how he that's threw true. in that Carson's ribs are delicious. The thing is, yeah. though, he will get a bunch of Carson's ribs now because I'm sure Don is listening to this going, boy, Jeff got me a bunch of plugs. Yeah, yeah but you know what? It's going to work for him. <laughs> the Carson's ribs thinking about that freak eating them. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know. Uh, no, they don't want you as a spokesperson. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff thinks of himself as a good pitch man. All right, Ralph, thank you. Uh, Jeff, well, this probably assures that you will get some Carson's ribs what can i say good job thank you all right hey um you know what